Alright, what's up and welcome. Wait, 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 wait. I'm see myself. Ah, I think that's better. Yes, guys, what's up and welcome back. This says the Proken Geek. Officially now, I'm like a side geek. That's why I've been absent for, I don't know, 200 and... Anyways, that's too much. Josh, what's up, Josh? Anyways, it's me and Josh out there. So today, wait, 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 before. We need to get a perfect intro for you people. So wait, can you see me? Yes, I think you can. The, the video is moving too much. But anyways, what we're going to be doing today is because I am a side geek nowadays. Too much time in sight, so type of videos is, is very difficult. But the point is, today's video, we just managed to have a Troxler, which is there. I don't know if we have a Troxler out there. So today we're going to be doing a Troxler test. I'm going to be taking you through what the Troxler machine is, what it's necessary for, what it's used for, and how to actually use the Troxler machine out in the field. So what are you waiting for? Let's get in the bit. Right, as you can see this is the box where the machine comes in i think that's self-explanatory right how do you say it? explanatory to be honest dude how do you say that way just make sure you don't twist your stuff don't twist your stuff anyways this is the box this is the compartment where it stays it would have been nice if we could show you whilst it was still in the box but uh this is basically the trucks the machine as you can see nice good Nice, no, it's nice. It's it's written Troxler. So I actually found out Troxler is a company that makes this machine, but it's called uh, it's a density what? It's a density gauge. Yes, it's a moisture density gauge. So it comes with different companies, but the most popular company is Troxler. That's why it's called Troxler. That's why people call it the Troxler machine. But anyways, it is what it is. So this is the machine, and another machine you're gonna find. This is its base plate, which it comes with, right? You always need to put it in there because it's radioactive. Uh, where is the radioactive sign? Not sure where it is, but it's radioactive. This this four pound hammer doesn't come with a machine, so you have to get it on your own. But this little thing, unfortunately, because Josh is too rough with his hands, he broke this too many times, so we had to weld it back again. But this time, whoever welded it back, I can go them data. This guy is great. So this also comes with a machine, this plate comes with a machine, this com comes with a machine. So what we're going to basically do is this is like a car park area. And what we need to do is we need to test this area. So this is where he's going to mow. Dude, are you going to mow in this hole or this hole? Yeah, the other one. That's the exact position. This one? Yeah. So you're going to mow in this hole? No. Wait, this one? Yes. So you're going to hit it there? Yeah. So anyways, Josh will do the dirty work. I'll, ju I'll just explain the rest of this thing. So oh, Josh, let's get to work. Chaya Baba. Get a bats. <laughs> Alright, so the first step that you need to do is set up your plate. As you can see, this is this the same size as the base of the machine. Alright, this is the same size. So what you're basically doing is because this thing needs to get down into the ground. So that is why. Wait, wait. That is why. He was mowling, chiring down into the ground there. I know I'm sounding too bougie. But anyways, now that he's, he has made a hole, all he has to do is take that out. And can you please take it out, Josh? Alright. It's easy. Leverage, Baba. What's the next thing? Now you have to mark out. Okay, well, it's easy for you to place the trucks. 
exactly so you're marking it now so that you remember where you need to place the troxel machine so all you need to do is when you move now the troxel from there and bring it to this position you know exactly where to place it because you've marked out so that's step number i don't know but anyways follow along with us all right so so the first thing that josh did as well as you can see let me just zoom in i'm not sure if you can see but it's self-testing i think we have to wait for 63 seconds and it's emitting some radiation so my bows uh are in a very precarious state right now because it's emitting radiation all for the views on youtube but anyways so it has to test itself once you switch it on there's the on button once you switch it on it has to self-test so it's testing up now we have 45 seconds left so basically what you need to do is you need to stand away at least two meters away from the machine because it's emitting some radiation but personally if you're married it's not a big deal but if you're not it's going to fry your bows that's the, just the basics of it okay, so when it's done it will beep and now the next thing that we need to do is do what we call a standard count so you press your standard and you take those values right so press standard which is there you're going to press on standard then after pressing on standard it's going to show you the typical values ds what is ds man and ms so that's moisture oh, the moisture and standard density exactly i knew that i knew that but i was just trying to act as if i didn't know anyways i'm trying to be like you if you have never seen the trucks that work this is how it is so ds is uh, the standard density and ms standard moisture content so this is the standard count so take a new count yes so wait 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 is gauge is the gauge on a standard block and source road in a safe position so this is the block i was talking about so the gauge is on a standard the this is the gauge it's on the standard block which is yes and is the safe is the road in a safe position this is the safe position that is it's all the way to the top if you've ever shot a gun the trigger needs to be in a safe position this is the safe position for the trigger for the trucks of machine anyways let's continue all right what the hell so basically now after taking yes two thirty something seconds which is like four minutes all right so we're gonna have to leave it for four minutes so see you in four minutes meanwhile while we have four minutes before the truck slur does its standard count um it is, this is a good time to just take a walk around take a leak do whatever you want move to any place I don't know you could do whatever you want uh or you could spin up the camera and make it up but this people don't like it when you do this so anyways let's get to where we want to get okay uh now that four minutes is done josh you said we need to because you see there's a new ds value and a new ms value so that's the new standard uh moisture and density so it's going to ask you do you want to use the new standard and we are okay with it so we're gonna say yes Yes. Yes. All right. So now we go to testing. All right, all right. Mhm. Mm Dude, where's the O? Oh, there it is. So now you see the beauty of marking the O. So that when you go in place, wait, 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 Josh, don't just rush, bro. It's like full play. You need to take your time. Take your time, bro. Take your time. Just the tip. Just the tip. Anyways. Now you can start. Right, so you're going to lower it to 150. Yeah, 150. So wait, 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 wait. How is 150? So these graduations are 50 mil. So this is 50, 100, and this is 150. So 150 comes to this place. So just give a, just give the ground the tip first. Let's go. This is 50. Now you go. Yes. 150. Dude, I swear your lady never has time to acclimate. Anyways, that's a story for another day. But you gotta do it like full play. Lower it nicely and slowly, and then click it in place. Once it's in there. Then, yes, yes, let's go. Dude. Alright, then you lock it. This is like the trigger. Alright, now that you lock it, it's in place. The road is in. It's now about to start. Ta -ta. So, the radiation game is about to start. So, what's the next thing that we do? Enter, enter. So, right, so wait. Uh, this is going to adjust the PR. You need to adjust the PR. So, the pro it's called the Proctor or Marshall value, right? okay so just know this is two amateurs two amateur videographers not engineers or technical people we amateur videographers we don't really know how to do an actual lesson as you vlog it 
But anyways, so he clicked on the PR and it's now asking him which value he, does he want to change the preset values? So those are the preset values. Do you want to change them? Yes. What does he want to change? He wants to change the what do you want to change? He wants to change the PR value, so this is number two, so he's gonna change number two. Uh the proctor values, do you want the stored value or a new value? Because this has a memory now for you to store some values. In this case, you want to take stored stored value. So in our case, we have four stored values. As you can see them, some for gravel, some for blended material, some for the other things. We're gonna take, take the fourth one, that's for what? Blended material. Yep. So that's blended material 1976. Then you're gonna say start. So input road depth. So in this case, it's asking you to what depth have you put your road in this case. By default, because we were testing this at 150, so it's at 150, and by default we also put it at 150. So just the tip was 10, so that's 150. Yo, click yes, start or enter, and then it starts. As you can see, the time is saying 60 seconds, it's emitting some radiation, so I need to go two meters away, and we're gonna kill it out. It took, I literally did not even see the 60 seconds pass, so, but now as you can see on the screen, let me see, I hope it's focusing on the screen, you have the PR, that is the percentage compaction, in this case it's 93.9%, so it all depends, the pass value for this one in particular, this material is 91%, so this means the compaction that was done for this particular section is 93.9%, so we did, we actually passed, and DD is your dry density, and WD is the density that's needed in the lab, right? Exactly. And then uh, moisture content is given as percentage moisture, percentage M. In our case, that is 4.7. Anyways, mind me if it's auto focusing. But what you could do is subscribe to the channel, support me via Patreon, and maybe I could buy a better camera that could help me uh, focus much better and bring better videos. Anyways, this is basically how you take a truckster test and you see if whether you pass or you don't pass on your combustion test so in this case this one passes i don't know do we have anything else oh, that's, it. that's basically it so there's josh you can see him and there's me so until next time guys